Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you advice, three safety tips on how to stay safe in Medellin. I've been coming here for many years, but I want to talk about the things that I see most foreigners get in trouble. So the number one tip is avoiding the dating apps like Tinder, Bumble, for example. The quality that you see on there is not that good like how it used to be back in the day. Not only that, but you have to weed out the prepagas, the ladies of the night. Back in the day, used to be women up to professional women. Now you really don't see that. Uh, you just see a lot of bunch of women just looking, you know, to take advantage. So dating apps ain't that good anymore, guys. So, so just be avoiding those. That's that's easy to do. Second one is the jewelry. I don't know why anybody would indulge in wearing jewelry in a third world country. Uh, do your research. You shouldn't have a five hundred dollar necklace, gold necklace on, anyways. But I would say avoid jewelry. Uh, I see a lot of people getting robbed. I've seen so many videos. If somebody tries to rob you off your jewelry, your cell phone, whatever, give it to them. Because over here, people won't, a person that's robbing you won't hesitate to shoot you, take your life away for a couple of hundred dollars or even a cell phone. So I've seen it. Uh, please be very, very, very careful. Be aware. Don't wear no jewelry. That's the second tip. Third advice that I could tell you is the ladies of the night. Uh, if you go out, there really isn't a hookup culture in Colombia. Does it happen? Are there one night stands? Yes, but it's not the norm. We're talking about the norm. It doesn't happen. Uh, even the locals will tell you that. It's just very dangerous. So if a girl's hitting you up on Tinder or at a club telling you, oh, let's go to your apartment or multiple women, that's usually a red a red flag. Just be very careful. You're going to indulge in that. You could always get like a, one of those hotels that they charge for a few hours, maybe like 50 mil, 80 mil, which would be about $10, $15. So that way you don't risk nothing. You don't have to take somebody back to your own place and risk getting your, all your stuff taken. Not only that, but the Airbnbs are getting really strict now, guys. They ain't allowing people guests anymore. So make sure when you get an Airbnb, it's guest friendly because a lot of them are just so strict now. They ain't, they ain't allowing, you can't even bring your friends over anymore. So that's another thing that I would uh, recommend. But if you go out at nights, just watch out your drinks. Don't accept a drink from a stranger. Be aware. I don't care if you order a bottle. You have to pick up the bottle and take it with you to the restroom. I don't give a damn. Take the bottle with you to the restroom. At the end of the day, it's your life. You value your life the way you want to. But I've seen a lot of foreigners getting in trouble here. The people here are getting into so much trouble over here. There's so many people that are getting, you know, deceased because they're not they're not doing their due diligence, or maybe they're just thinking with their head down here, not the one out here. But use your head up here. Use your thinking. Use your common sense, guys. And at the end of the day, it's all common sense and you'll be all right here. I was like, you see guys that meet a girl on the Tinder app and they're bringing her to her, their, their apartment the first few hours. Like, that's like a red flag. Like, you can't do what you do in your country and in and, and, and Colombia, man. This is a different place. It operates by a different set of rules, guys. You can stay safe as long as you know you do your due diligence. All right, guys. So I hope this advice helps you. Uh, like I said, it's all about common sense, guys. Stay away from the apps. The quality of women ain't that great anyways. And most women don't even want to meet up unless they're getting something in return. So that's that's trash anyways. Jewelry, you shouldn't have jewelry on. Third, I would say be aware when you go out at night, when you're drinking, trying to make some friends. There's a lot of groups that you could do here. There's hiking. There's dancing groups. Language exchange. You can meet some nice people. Try to stick with some some uh, other expats or some foreigners and stuff. And another thing I would say, don't go to the barrios. Uh, I've seen people do that. Don't do that. Unless you're going to go to somewhere like Comina Trece, but don't be going to like these dangerous neighborhoods. You know, if a girl invites you, come on, man. That's common sense. You shouldn't be doing something like that, guys. But anyways, I hope this video helps you out, guys. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if it's your first time. Leave a comment if you agree, if you think I love something else oh, that I should have put in there. But I think these are the three things. The dating apps. The jewelry and the nightlife can get people hammed up over here, guys. So please be careful when you come over here. It can be very dangerous if you're not using common sense. But until next time, guys, take care.